All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. We're back with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Trained up the team a little bit. Um, not much has changed. Uh, Perry's at 42. I didn't realize how high leveled he was uh, compared to everybody else. But everyone else is at level 40. Uh, Scavenger wanted to learn Double Edge. Didn't teach him that. Victoria wanted to learn Worry Seed. I actually wanted to teach Victoria Worry Seed. Uh, it what it does is it changes the apo- the uh, the target Pokemon's ability to insomnia, meaning that they can't be put to sleep, which does two things. A, it makes it so if they have a strategy where they use rest over and over to fully heal, it it won't work. They can't go to sleep, so the move won't work. And also, if their strength highly revolves around their ability it changes it to insomnia which gives us an advantage for things like um if if it has levitate if it has levitate and it is weak to ground attacks levitate covers it uh worry c would change that for the better uh but i didn't it, I, I really want to use that strategy one day that's that's gonna be a plan one day i'm gonna use that strategy and no one's gonna stop me uh, what I'm going to do real quick is go into Blackthorn City, uh, go into their Pokemart, rather, and stock up on potions. I, I believe we need some potions. I'm not entirely sure. We can check. Um, we're at the point where... We're at the point where I should have been good for the Moo Moo Milk. Moo Moo Milk will actually be perfect. Uh, but we, we ain't there yet. So I'm going to do is fill up on Super Potions. I'm going to go to 20 on Super Potions. Hyper potions. Let's get three. Hyper, oh, let's go. Yeah, let's 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 ball out. We'll get eight hyper potions. We're gonna do the Blackthorn City gem today. If if we heavily need potions, what I'm gonna do is go all the way back to going to Rod City and get lemonades. Lemonades again, cost effectiveness. That's how you that's how you do good in Nuzlocke. You have to manage your money wisely. Okay, so the Blackthorn City gem is the very last gem. For uh, for Soul Silver, we've actually made a lot of progress here. Let's talk to this man, Claire. Our gym leader is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. Luckily, we ain't run-of-the-mill. I don't know if you heard about Team Snaps and Claps, baby, but we ain't run-of-the-mill. Let's run in this bit. Let's run in this bit. The Blackthorn City Gym. Yo, champ in the making. The gym has unstable footing. Keep your Pokemon in their Pokeballs. Now, Claire uses the mythical and sacred dragon type Pokemon. You can't damage them very easily. But you know, they're supposed to be weak against ice type moves. Alright, Perry, you gotta go in the Pokeball for just a hot sec. It'll be okay, buddy. Uh, they go in the gym because... I'm sorry, they go in the Pokeballs because this gym has puzzles. Not like the ice puzzles that we've been doing over the past few episodes. But uh, uh, it's 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 floor tiles. For example, if I step on this circle, it will. It's supposed to rotate the platform that I'm on. If it's able to rotate, it will rotate. It can't currently because of what's blocked to the right. I'm sorry, what is to the right? It's blocking. I believe it rotates counterclockwise. So let's see. If I move it to the left by stepping on this left panel, then it'll move to the left. And then if I go and step on this circle. Oh, no, it turns clockwise. Okay, that's fine. What I can do is move it down. The arrows determine which way it's going to go. It doesn't move left or right. It moves which way the arrows are pointing. So, let's see. I can't move it down. Can I move it up? I can move it up. I don't think I can rotate it, though. Nope. Nothing doing. So, I can move it back down. And let's try rotating it now. There we go. And if I step on the right one, then we can proceed. All right, they had to dim the music so so you could think it out. It's okay. Now, he said they have dragon types. We don't know what type of Pokemon they'll have here in this gym. Hey, hey, your first battle against dragons? I'll show you how tough they are. Please don't have anything ridiculous. I swear, if you have something ridiculous, I'm going to be upset. He sent out his spiel. It's not too bad, I guess. All right, Perry, you're up. How about we uh we, we catch it with a good old metal claw. That good old metal claw. We're strong against ice. No, we're not. Steel's not strong against ice. That's inner daster. Alright. Catch this catch this metal claw for me. Catch it for me, family. As expected. 
as expected. Go ahead, Perry. A mudkip. A mudkip. Mudkip is water and uh, ground. Your turn, Victoria. Your time to shine. All right. Here we go. He has a mudkip at level 35. These trainers really, really don't care about their Pokemon. That thing should have evolved by now. It would have been so strong. We would have actually had a threat to worry about. That lovely low mudkip is gone. Lovely low mudkip is gone. All right. Come on, Victoria. A Luminion. Luminion. I was not expecting to see Luminion. And I was... Not expecting Luminion to take this Razor Leaf. Hold this Razor Leaf for me, fam All right. Oh, oh, it held it. Look at that. Aqua Ring is going to heal up. It'd be all right. Unless it heals that whole that whole white space on this health bar, it ain't going to do that much. It ain't going to do that much. All they did was waste a turn. All right, so our first fight against dragons went pretty well. It went pretty well. That's too bad. Go away. You've met the dragon tamer, Lance. I don't believe you. Oh, I met him all right. Oh, oh, we met. This here is a warp path in case I want to go back to the beginning of the room. Uh, instead of having to navigate the puzzles to get out. Because I think some of them are made so you can't really go backwards. Um, so you can, uh, you can jump in that if you need to leave to heal up if, if mom decides she wants to buy stuff with your money or anything like that. Dragons are sacred Pokemon. They are full of life energy. If you're not serious, you won't be able to beat them. Yeah? Is that how you feel? Is that how you feel? All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can beat them. Let's go ahead and see if we can beat them. She's got an Ekans. She's got an Ekans. Well, for all for all that for all things considered, remember the game is switching things relative. Except for the starters. The only thing that wasn't relative were the starters. That means that the Pokemon that she had Oh Jesus. Oh, Mud Bomb is actually really good against against Steel types. For the Pokemon that she did have before the randomizing happened, is something equal to an Ekans. So for that yeah, if, if that's if that's what you want to look at. All right, Parasect. Well, I tried to, <laughs> I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt, but then she threw a she threw a Parasect out. For for all I know, the Parasect could be could be the killer. The Nuzlocke rug could be over right here because of Parasect. <laughs> that thing is dead. If I really wanted to kill, I could have sent out spells. I could have sent spells for uh, I could have sent spells for the flamethrower, but I, I wanted to give her a shot. Good night, Paris. <laughs> Good night. Come on. Way to go. I mean, I guess whatever. Dragons are weak against dragon type moves. I guess whatever. All right, here's another puzzle. Let's see if we can, oops, I meant to rotate it, but it'll be all right. Oh, never mind, it won't be all right. Let's move down, then rotate it. Then we go here, and we rotate it. And then I think we go up and rotate it. No, no, we can't rotate, oh, there we go. Okay, so this is actually one of the puzzles. Let's see, I think we can do this. Can we sneak past this man? Nope, we can't sneak past this man this way. I think this one, is set up so that if you want, you can avoid both of those battles. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. I could be making things up. You guys know how my memory, how bad my memory is. Okay, it can't turn because this corner would have to swing into the, the ground over there. I think I might have made that entire thing up. <laughs> okay, let's see. For some reason, I remember that being the case, though. So I'm going to play around with it for just a little bit longer. No, it won't do. How about we go here? I think I have to get into one of those two battles. Now, I don't think I have to get into both, but one of them I have to. Let's see. Let we go here. Here. Oh, wait. I think I got it. Nope. Yeah, we have to get into one of those two battles. And that's all right. 
It's all right. It's just more experience, more practice for the the, the real deal. Let's see. Let's try one more time. No? Oh, yeah, because it's going to swing into the wall. No, you have to get into one of those two battles at least. Let's see, I think we missed. I think we blew our only chance to sneak past this man. Okay. Oh, no, we, we, oh, never mind. She ain't going to let that happen. She saw, <laughs> she saw my, my tricks and she said, no, guess what? We're fighting. She said, we're fighting, you asshole. All right, let's, let's heal up. Let's heal Perry. He took that, he took those shots I wasn't expecting him to take. We have a potion. Potion be all right. You'll be fine. Those three points. You won't miss those three points at all, Perry. Let's see. Let's give it a shot. Can we sneak past this woman? I'm not going to wait too long. All right, here we go. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I've been training hard with Claire. There's no way I can lose. Yeah? You want to you wanna bet? Zatu. She has a Zatu. All right. Uh, Zatu is psychic and flying. Here's a wish. Wish is a delayed healing attack. Basically, if we don't kill it with this move or the next one, it's going to heal some of its health. Yeah, it's going to heal. Good call, Zatu. Here's a surf. Oh, it can't do two wishes. You can't do two wishes, Zatu. You only get one wish at a time. Oh, never mind. He's not going to heal. Perry, Perry is doing his best to prove me wrong this recording session. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Oh, that's disappointing. I tried to sneak past you. You wouldn't let me. That's your fault. That's your fault, ma'am. Y'all, everybody's still good. Everybody's still good. Here we go. Uh, this should be the last battle before the gym leader. Hey, hey. Mm, 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 mm. My chance of losing? Not even 1%. Okay, guys, he's basically saying the Nuzlocke challenge is going to end right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this last episode. Come on, Mike, with your carnivine. All right, I've been talking about him all episode. It's time to bring out the big guns. Smells, you're up. Carnivine is grass type, I believe, just solid grass type. Did you just fart, Smells? Excuse me, did you just fart? How long has Smells been farting and I ain't realize it? Here's a flamethrower. Hold this flamethrower for me, family lamb. Oh, it actually has really good defense. That's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. All right, Smells, we're going to need you to run it up again. Give him another flamethrower. For his soul. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Swallow. So all that is stockpiled, it just swallowed. It's going to heal up a little bit. It's not going to heal enough that matters. It's going to get this work, though. That's for certain. That is for certain. And it's a crit. Ooh, that crit, though. Come on. Come on. Good work. He said he was going to end on Nuzlocke run. Y'all, were y'all scared? Were y'all worried? Did y'all see how much time was left? Well, guess what? I'm going to end the episode here. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. That's messed up. That's messed up. Uh, let's see. Everybody should be good for this gym leader. Battle. What I want to know is why Echo hasn't evolved yet. I would love to know why Echo hasn't evolved yet. That would make my day. All right, guys. Let's rotate. No? Let's move here. And then we rotate. All right. No? We go. Fine. Fine. We go here. Let's go this way. Jeez. And then we go down and rotate. No, we go up. No, we just rotate. Fine. Uh. <laughs> Let's move this all the way down. I think it's this puzzle that you can't go backwards on. I think this is one that you definitely can go backwards on once you uh get to a certain point. Oh, we're still not even far enough? Fine. Fine. Jeez. Here we go. No. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it this way then. And we do it this way. And we rotate. And we go here. And we go here. All right. We are about to fight the very last gym leader of this game, guys. With my initiative to make it so that we do something, we accomplish something every episode, I think we've gotten here much quicker than we did 
then we got through the first part of um, Fire Red. So I'm actually glad that we made this in good time. All right, let's uh, let's let's get ready, guys. This is be this be the last time I yell. Here you go. It'll be the last time I yell. Here you go. Uh, let's see. We gonna we gonna soup it up. We gonna soup it up. Actually, no, he's good. He don't need he don't need to be souped up. All right, guys. Here we go. It's time to fight Claire. Claire's actually a pretty cool gentleman. She's not one of my favorites, but she's pretty cool. I am Claire. I am the world's best dragon type master. I can hold my own even against the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do this. As a gym leader, I will use my full power against any opponent. All right, here it goes. We're fighting against Claire. Claire's pretty cool. I used to think she was somebody's grandma back in Gen 2, but she's actually pretty dope. Here's Rosa Rage. All right, she's leaning with a rosary. We need to get Perry VH out of there. Perry, we're switching you out for smells just for a hot sec. Smells, you better not fart. You better not fart. Perry, I'm sorry. Smells, you are embarrassing me in front of the Blackthorn City gym leader. All right. Let's 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 smell it up. Catch it with a flamethrower, buddy. Rosarade is a grass type. I think it's just grass, not grass and dark or anything like that. Doesn't matter. Smells, we're going to work on your, your special attack, all right? We're going to get you together. We're going to get you together. Come on. Come on. Are you going to heal? No heals? No heals, no deals. There we go. Go work. Go work. One down. Come on. Come on. All right. Send in Dunsparce. Dunsparce is a normal type. This is all dawn. All dawn, no dusk. Here we go. Dunsparce. All right, it's not her ace. It's not the, her strongest one. Here's a force palm for a Dunsparce. This should kill it. Not entirely sure. No, it's a tank. No, it's a tank. There's a takedown, though. Come on. Come on. All right, we're going we gonna to finish it off right here. Nope, there's a Hyper Potion. It'll be okay. It'll be okay because if we're faster, we don't have to worry about problems. Here we go. Come on. Paralyze? No Paralyze? Oh, withdrew Dunsparce. What's coming out? Alakazam! That's a great matchup, and it's her ace. We are in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. We are in trouble unless we Paralyze. I doubt it. Yes! Oh, we paralyzed it. <laughs> oh, it's got synchronized. Synchronized makes it so if a status effect happens to the opponent Pokemon, it happens to us as well. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. This could be it for somebody. We need to go back to Smells, but I don't think Smells is up to it. Smells has a... Uh, he has Night Slash. We're switching to Smells. Smells Dark type is going to protect it from Alakazam's psychic attacks. And really, that's all we got. Really, that's all we got. We can't lose smells right here. It's a nice slash. Oh, she switched them out. For what? Al uh, Dunsparce? Jesus Christ. Here we go. Come on. Ooh, that crit, though. Come on. Dragonair. She actually does have a Dragon-type Pokemon. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Uh, Dragonair. Shoot. Dragonair. Damn. I don't think you can learn Earthquake. I'm going to keep Smells out. And we're going to do the Toxic Initiative. Come on. Come on, Smells. We're going to Toxic in. We're going to just have to hope that Shed Skin never works. Oh, never mind. We're already starting bad. Dragon Rage has 40. Come on. Toxic Initiative. There we go. We can't lose smells. I probably should have switched smells out. Agility. Okay. He's going to make it so he goes first. That's fine. No shed skin. At least not right now. No shed skin. Good. All right. Uh, let's heal. Let's, ooh, let's heal. What do we need? We need 50? That's 70. We need 70. Uh, we, can blow a, we can blow a lemonade. It'll be okay. Lemonade is how much? 80? It's 80. Okay. I thought it was 100. 
No, we're going to need to get those those Moo Moo Milks. We're going to need to heal those milk tanks before we go to the Elite Four. Dragon Rage is another 40. So we know it has Dragon Rage and Agility. We don't know what else, and that's kind of scary, to be honest. Shed Skin. God damn it. Okay. So the Toxic Condition is not going to be so good. Let's Night Slash it up, baby. Let's Night Slash it up, Smells. Come on. Come on. All right. That's pretty good. Come on. Dragon Rage is only going to do 40. We're fine here. She's probably going to heal up if we don't kill. I can, I can see her healing up if we don't kill here. Damn. Okay. So now who's left? Alakazam? Alakazam. We absolutely have to heal. We have to blow that heal here. It's paralyzed, so we should be good, but I'm not banking. One Pokemon left. This is where the real battle begins. You damn right. Here we go. Hyper Potion. We can't risk it. Not for this biscuit. Not for this biscuit. I can see her healing for some reason. No heal. It's a Calm Mind, though. Okay, if it's got Calm Mind, we absolutely cannot lose smells. We need to make it so his uh, his special attacks won't hit, or else they're gonna take everybody out. Here's a nice slash. Hold this nice slash for me. Come on, smells. Damn, good work. All right, guys, we have all eight gym badges. We have all eight gym badges. That means there's nothing stopping us from going on to the Pokemon League and taking on the Elite Four. We got this. I lost. I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. I won't concede this. Okay, Whitney. I might have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon Master Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. There is a shrine at its heart. Go there. If you can prove that you've lost your lazy ideals, I will admit you are a trainer worthy of a gym badge. All right, so we can't just get the gym badge. We're going to have to leave here and complete another thing. We'll actually do that right now. We won't break it into another episode. Let's talk to this man. Hey, you were great to beat Claire. What she says is one thing, but you already are quite the trainer, I think. I'd still do what Claire wants you to do, though. All right, so we'll take on the Dragon Master Challenge. It's no big thing. Huey wants to talk. I don't want to talk to Huey right now. What we're going to do is we're going to heal up, and then we'll actually go do the Dragon Master Challenge. So let's go heal real quick. Can we sneak through here? Okay. We'll heal real quick, and then we'll be back at the gym. All right? All right. So we healed all up, and we're ready to do the Dragon Master Challenge. It's, it's more or less a simple challenge. Uh, it takes place behind the gym. There's a secret area called the Dragon's Den. Also, if we meet something in the water, we'll be able to get an encounter right here. Come on, Perry. Thank you. All right. So we're going to surf through the waters here on the way back to the dragon's den. If Claire allows it, her grandfather, our master, will also. You may enter. This is the dragon's den. All right. It's a fairly simple challenge. Uh, we have to get in here. and We have to find a... Oh, shoot. I wonder if it'll let me do it. If not, I'm going to hack it in. I'll go ahead and tell you guys. I'll hack it in. Because it's, it's it's an item that we should get, but it should be randomized because it's a it's a hold item. This is another battle, I believe. Yep. All right. All right. All right. You! How dare you enter uninvited? Um, there was an old man at the door. I don't know if you know how old men work, but they keep you out if you don't want to do something. All right. There's a Primplup. Okay, so why do we live in a world where Primplup run rampant? Why is that a thing? Why is our starter not so so uh so exclusive? Well, I guess none of the stars are exclusive, really. We've seen we've seen the what, what's it called the the Piple Up line. We've seen that a few times. We've seen the Charmander line a few times, and we actually had a Clef on the team. So none of the starters are exclusive, really. And one shot. Go work, Victoria. Go work. Proud of you. Proud of you for showing this man what's what. All right. Strong. Go home. 
Go home, kid. The shrine ahead is home to the master of our dragon tamer clan. You're not allowed to just go in. Yeah, well, fight me. I bet you can't fight me and, and stop me. Oh, wait. Perry, I need you to be a little bit faster with this whole surf on me business. I mean, you're not, you're not moving super slow, but Jesus Christ, you need to pick up the speed. And they have Cascoon here in the Dragon's Den, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly, that's exactly what I want on my team. We already have Cascoon. We already had a Cascoon. So since this is our first encounter, guess what? Dupes Claws is in effect. We don't, we, if we run into something else, which we won't. Which we won't. There's gonna be another cascoon. I'm gonna be upset. Don't. I'm upset now. Now I'm upset. That's that's what's happening right now. I'm mad. Okay. So if there's gonna be number cascoon, we're gonna ignore the encounters. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut them out. Just to save time. We need to go to the back of Dragon's Den. I believe this. No, this is not the right way. We need to go in that whirlpool there. It's, like I said, whirlpool is a mandatory move. That's why I taught it to uh. That's why I taught to Perry when he learned it by himself. That's why I taught to Perry because I knew eventually we would have to learn it. All right. So let's see. Perry, can you get us across this whirlpool? Yes, please. Thank you, Perry, for all your hard work. We we do appreciate it. Team Snaps and Claps loves you very much. All right. So what are those normally? Are those Cascoon normally Magikarp? That's like the only thing I can see it being relative to. Hmm. Good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I am sorry, but I must test you. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was an item I had to find. I believe that's what happened in Gen 2. You have to find a certain item. Here, it's a test that you have to take. Not to worry. You are to answer only a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? Our options are allies, juniors, or friends. I'm not entirely sure if there's more than one answer, but my answer is friends. Our Pokemon are our friends. Oh, I understand. What helps you to win battles? A strategy, training, or cheating? Again, I'm not sure... If there's more than one right answer, but our answer is training. Oh, I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Uh, weak, strong, or anyone. Again, I'm pretty sure there's more than one answer here. I want to fight anyone. I'm not exclusive. I feel like I just goofed. Oh, I understand. What is most important for raising Pokemon? Love, violence, or knowledge? Again, not sure if there's more than one answer. Mine is love. I love I love Team Snaps and Claps, ladies and gentlemen. Not sure if you guys know that. I actually do love every member of Team Snaps and Claps. Yes, even Gnome. Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. Which is more important? Strength, both, or weakness? I'm going both. Not sure if there's more than one answer. I'm going to go both. Hmm, I see. You care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. That conviction is what is important. Chill, don't lose that belief. It will see you through at the Pokemon League. So how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. Did you fail? What, you passed? That can't be. You're lying. Even I haven't been approved. Well, maybe you should get good. How about that? Claire, this child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat 
and confer the rising badge. Or must I inform Lance of this? I, I, I understand. Her grandpa just told her good. Uh, get good. Here, take, this is the rising badge. Take it. Hurry up. We got the rising badge. Ladies and gentlemen, that is eight gym badges. We can now go to the Pokemon League. There's going to be much training in the process of, of us getting ready to go. The rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Also, all Pokemon will know you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. That's if we would have got any trades. Claire, reflect upon what it is that you lack and this child has. She, she booked. By the way, have you heard of Lugia? Er, between Olivine and Cyanwood are islands called Whirl Islands. There is a huge waterfall deep in the cave there. It is said that Lugia rests in the deep end of the waterfall basin. You need a silver wing to reach the waterfall basin, I've heard. We got one of those. All right, let's go ahead and book it. Now, what that quiz does is it gives me something after I beat the the Pokemon League. It, it doesn't do anything now, but it's a setup for later on. Uh, let's see if we can leave easily. Can we use an escape rope here? I doubt it. I doubt it. This isn't a real cave. Where, where am I escape? Oh, we're in the medicine. Well, I always do that. Why well, always do that? Yes, the escape rope can be used here. Great. We don't have to surf all the way back to get to GTFO. All right, we're back at the cave in front of Blackthorn City. Ladies and gentlemen, we did. Oh, here's the professor. Hello, Chill. How's it going? I've gotten a hold of something neat. Swing by my lab to pick it up. See you later. All right, fine. We're going to stop by his. We're going to go to Pokemon League, but fine. We'll go by Professor Elm's lab. Uh, re uh, our flying scavenger, uh, the lab, just south of Newbark. I'm sorry, south of Blackthorn City is Newbark Town, where we're from. All right. We'll get this, and then we'll be able to wrap it up. Let's see. What what could he possibly have that is of such such urgent urgency? Oh, look who it is. This is Lyra or Lyra, whatever her name is. Chill! Did you already collect any badges? That's so cool. It's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. The professor is waiting for you. Hi, Chill. You never cease to amaze me. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. Is it a, is it a, it's a Master Ball. He gave us the Master Ball. That's pretty dope. The Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate Pokeball. It can, it'll catch any Pokemon without fail. It's given only to noted Pokemon researchers. I think you can make better use of it than I can, Jill. By the way, we just had a group of beautiful kimono girls looking for you. Oh, yeah? Chill, people are talking about you. Oh, yeah? I heard you help Kimono Girls. Oh, yeah? You've been helping all these people. You make me proud to be your friend. Where's your Meryl? Where'd her Meryl go? The Kimono Girls are waiting for you at the Agritique Dance Theater. Oh, yeah? Okay, so we weren't going to go do the Pokemon League uh, right now, but uh, I guess what we can do is we'll leave here and we'll head to Agritique City and see what the Kimono Girls are. Uh, See what they're all about, all right? You guys don't tell my girlfriend. We're just gonna, shh. We can keep that between me and you, all right? She's not, she's not even, she's not even watching. <laughs> all right, guys. So we have all eight gym badges, and we're very shortly gonna head over to, um, head over to the Pokemon League. But first, we gotta handle some business with the Kimono Girls. We're gonna see what they want. All right. If you guys enjoyed this episode, let's see more. Then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like the Nuzlocke Run, as well as everything else that All Play has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on All Play. We're going to go see some Kimono Girls. I hope when they get in there, they go ahead and show me the.